Okay, Facebook just gives me the hardest time. They want you to verify your phone number. So I'm like, okay, I'll verify my phone number so that way if I ever get logged out, I can just use my phone number to access my Facebook ID again. So basically, I give them my phone number and then they lock me out of my account and say, you need to verify. We will send you a code. Well, I didn't receive the code. So here's the steps they recommend online to take to get the code. First of all, if you're creating a new Facebook account and didn't get the code to confirm your mobile phone number, make sure you enter the correct mobile number. Did that. If you entered the wrong number, you can update the number and send the SMS again. To get a mobile phone call with one click, click on did you get the SMS, call the number, and that will give you a call. It takes up to five minutes. Then you can click on try sending SMS again, or you can click on try sending SMS a message yourself to the Facebook number of 32665. Um, be careful though, data and texting rates will apply. It tried to contact me with that, so I said no, I ain't going to do it. And then it says in some countries it may take up to 12 hours, which is crap. So these are the codes for each country if you're looking for uh, different countries. But what I ended up doing was I checked my text messages on my phone and I found where it says archived messages. The archived messages then pulled up an old Facebook message to which it said click this link to skip the enter a code verification. And I did that about four times and for some reason it wouldn't work still. So then I opened it with the Google browser instead of the Facebook browser, and I got on the Google browser. It allowed me to get on the Google browser. By getting on the Google browser, I was able to view my Facebook again. Then I saved that page because I was scared I wouldn't be able to get back on again, and I went ahead and tried to open it through Facebook, and it prompted me and asked me a few more questions, and then it let me get back on through Facebook. Um, I tried to contact Facebook via different emails and they don't have a phone number facebook has no help center there's no help phone number that you can call when you don't know what to do which is really sad considering it's probably one of the biggest websites in our country and there's lots of money tied up in facebook so i use facebook to make money myself so it was really important for me to get back on facebook if uh, if this video is helpful or if you have any comments or tips in the suggestion or comment box, please put them down there to help other people. It was really a nightmare, and uh, it could have potentially cost me a lot of money by not being able to get into my Facebook. If you have any comments or tips, you know, just post them down there and uh, like my video and share it. And definitely subscribe so I can keep you updated on different tips and hacks and tricks to get through problems. Um, I appreciate everybody who likes it. Thanks again. Hopefully we'll see you soon.